Hi everyone, this is Meir with a message to you. We always want to believe that whatever physicians do is always helpful. But truth is that not everything they do is helpful. For example, the very fact that they tell you as soon as you don't see 2020 to put glasses on is a suggestion that will weaken your eyes for the rest of your life. Just like if your legs are weak and a physician will offer you to walk with a cane or with crutches instead of helping you to exercise in water like I'm doing with my patients with muscular dystrophy or help you to uh, uh, move easier or give you some other suggestions, that would strengthen your legs. That would be a great thing. If you have asthma and the first thing you're getting is an inhaler that eventually gets you to lose many of your functions if you keep taking it, that's not a good suggestion. While massaging your abdomen massaging your lower back, massaging your ribs, that's a good suggestion. So now let's talk about the eyes. It is terrible to see that so, so many people are wearing glasses today, and so many people have foggy vision without them. And equally, it is terrible to see that all that can be done to prevent those glasses is not being done. For example, I'm seeing so many people with sunglasses, not only outdoors, but also indoors. And it is time to slow down the use of sunglasses. Yes, if you drive to a sunrise or to a sunset, you should be wearing sunglasses. But you can see in the video that we will send you today of Sylvia that we did before as well, that actually you can adjust to the sun. You close your eyes, you move your head from side to side, and as you face the sun, the pupils constrict, and as you move away, they expand. And then you can do the palming exercise, where you rub your hands and you put your hands over your eye orbits and rest from the sun. You see, adjustment to strong light, adjustment to dim light, that is something that strengthens the eyes. Escaping the strong light and um, illuminating the night weakens the eyes. It weakens the pupils and it weakens the retina. So, the first thing that you should do is follow the principles of natural vision improvement. Relaxation. Adjustment to different light amplitudes and frequencies. Distance viewing, looking at details, paying attention to the periphery, balancing the use of the eyes, balancing the use within each eye, coordinating between body and eyes, and getting more blood flow to the visual system. All that is so important because if we can improve our capacity to adapt to modern life by compensating again and again, compensating the fact that modern life creates so much stress by looking at books and computers and looking so much from near and not looking so much from far. See how good you feel when you go to nature and look at greenery, and look at a distance. Then we can prevent many problems. So let me return to my feeling about glasses, contacts, and LASIK. You see better, but you postponed the pathology or the problem that can lead to blindness, sometimes by years and sometimes by dozens of years. But that is still going to happen because of the way that you use your eyes. Simply 
fixing the problem doesn't heal the problem. And so what we need is to respond to poor vision by exercising and making it stronger. And that is my message for this week. And that is my message as of tomorrow. We'll have six days of natural vision improvement where I will teach people the principle of this work and how to apply it to their daily life. From tips, very practical tips, to specific exercises to ameliorate and overcome their problems. Looking forward to speak with you again and looking forward to see those who are coming to my class tomorrow, Mayor.